I have to say, we keep bringing up little Timmy as the, as the thing. Timmy. In all of our videos, we're like, Timmy, stand up to your grandma, stand right. up to your Karen mum and get yourself yeah. a decent console. Exactly. <laughs> What's happening, everybody? And welcome to Conversations, a show where we record conversations we were going to have anyway. It's true. And upload it to the internet. We do. I'm one of your hosts, Eddie, along with my bro, with the most below Sheps. How's it going, bro? It's going good. How's it going, man? It's going good to me. I'm going to take a random guess, and I'm going to say you're on this side of the screen. I might have to decide that later in know. post, but we'll, we'll say you're that I side of the right. screen. I think you're right. I just I'm I got just... that feeling. <laughs> I'm going to just look at you. Oh, bro, you look awesome today. Oh, God, I like the beard and everything. It's great. <laughs> yes, today we're going to be talking about some Xbox news. There is some juicy rumors about the Xbox Series S, which is the less powerful Lockhart version that's been rumored and then cancelled and then re-rumored all this yeah. time during the uh, the release of the next-gen consoles. That's what we're going to be talking about here today. But before that, this video is brought to you by our amazing super pros over on patreon.com forward slash conversations. Who do we have to thank? We have Saki, the one and only, Comrade Conrad, Diogo Dildo, Record Friction. <laughs> you always laugh at that. Every Record time. Friction, uh, Cats but the Friendly Patron, and Dan the Man. Thank you, bro, so much for keeping the lights, the mics on, and the gaming going here at Combro yes, Station. That's right. Yeah, bro. So today we've got some juicy Xbox news. So we ah, are... Yeah, no, yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, like, that's... We, <laughs> we've covered this rumor like five different times. It was a rumor. Then, it, then they officially said they weren't doing it. Then they officially said they never said they were going to do it. So it wasn't a cancellation. <laughs> then they were going to do it. Then they weren't going to do it. Now they're going to do it. Six times. I, I love that actually. They I were think like, that's yeah. actually the thing, isn't it? They were like, we never confirmed there was an Xbox Lockhart. Was that? Like, oh, okay. The Xbox Lockhart is cancelled. Actually, we never said it was cancelled. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyway, apparently it's rumored to have around about four teraflops of GPU power. That's in mm -hmm. comparison to the 12 teraflops that's going to be coming in the Series X. Yeah. It's supposed to be more affordable. It's supposed to be more around about the 300 to $400 range, which isn't... Well, not super affordable. Exactly. I mean, it's more affordable than the Xbox Series X, but we'll talk sure. more about that in comparison to like power and stuff like that. And the, at this reveal event that's supposed to be happening in early May, it, we're supposed to be getting games, uh, more reveals of games like the new Fable reboot and more about Halo Infinite. How does yeah. he, How do you feel about all of that, bro? Well, for one, this uh, naming structure, like it's an Xbox One <laughs> S, Xbox One X is Series X, Series oh. S. Like they just pick the letters that the that the most easily confused. <laughs> Yes. Awful. And it confuses it with the previous generation consoles as well, right? Yeah, They're like, it's Xbox awful. S1, X, X, what? And I want to say this like, oh, it's a juicy rumor. But the thing is with this, like you said before, it's like they were going to do it. Then it was a rumor. Then they said they weren't going to do it. Then they said, mm -hmm. actually, because it was never a project, we didn't technically cancel it. Like it's been up and down so many times. The thing that's really interesting is the four teraflops. Yes, you know? that is very interesting. Everyone saw the, obviously, the immense power that came out of the Xbox Series X. They were like, 12 teraflops. That's amazing. And when everyone heard heard the 10 teraflops of the uh, PS5, they were like, oh, that's nothing in comparison. That's absolutely zero. Yeah. It might as well be zero. It might as well be right, zero. Right. But now we've got this one at four. The thing is as well, like the comparison with the PS5 and the Series X is that the architectures are different, right? And I'm wondering mm. if it's not also the case for this where four teraflops in 2020 yeah. is a significant jump just because of the way that it like develops the power yeah. You know, it's like it's if you take a, a car from like the 1980s and a car from today, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and they're like in that same price range from the day. They're going to be they, very, very different in terms of power right. and how they get it down. And so I'm that, wondering if it's not that. That was the thing. I think that's pretty much exactly how it's going to be. And that's what everyone, all the big people, especially when it comes to people like uh, Digital Foundry and whatnot, they're the guys that actually understand how these architectures work. They're saying... Everything's very different. You can't take it as apples for apples. It's completely different right now. You need to think of it with a brand new mindset. And they're saying that apparently this four teraflops is going to be more powerful, or if not at least the same amount of power, as the Xbox One X, which is at six teraflops in today's uh, GPU power. Right, right, right. That was the interesting part, because when we first heard these rumors, we was like, hold on a minute. They're going to release a console that's less powerful than the current flagship model? That was our big worry, wasn't it? 
Yeah, that was our big worry. I'm glad that we're getting rumors to say that's going to be that's not going to be the case because yeah. boy, that would have been a really tough sell. I don't know how they were going to do that. You're competing with yourself at that point. Like yeah. if you if you put this at a price point where you're like, yeah, it's like the budget version, but then you have your previous flagship that will have dipped because the new model's out and mm-hmm. it's more as powerful or more powerful then why would you buy the Series S when you exactly. have an Xbox One? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. X. Exactly. Xbox One. <laughs> X, X. I was trying to remember the letters, yeah. Too many letters, too many letters. This thing raises, this power uh, number raises two concerns for me. Two things, that two points that I want to raise, actually. Mm-hmm. So one of them, where we just said that the new RDNA 2 architecture means that everything's way more efficient and also, depending on how you optimize that stuff, it could mean you know, plus this, plus that amount, and it could mean that you could overtake someone else at a different teraflop number. For sure. Um, that also plays into the PlayStation 5. So people were like, oh, PlayStation 5 is 10 teraflops compared to the 12 teraflops. It's nothing. nothing. You guys can all go home. You get all your sturdy ponies can get out of here. Yeah. You've lost the war. But this proves that it's all about how you optimize it and this new architecture being a completely different ball of wax. For sure. The second thing I wanted to raise was the price. So the rumor is around about three to four hundred dollars. Yeah. If the Xbox, the rumor of that one anyway, is supposed to be around about the Xbox Series X, I mean, it's supposed to be around about four, so five hundred to six hundred dollars. Yeah. The price doesn't really work out for the teraflopage. I agree. So, like, I think I'm just going to do a quick calculation on my phone just here. So, $550 roughly is what the yeah. next Xbox is going to be. $550, uh, my finger slipping, can I was divided, divided by, by 12. Divided by 12, here we go. Yeah. That's about 45-ish right there. Now, do the same for the uh, for $400, let's say for the Xbox Series S, oh, divided yeah, wow. by 4. That's 100 so that's very, very different. That's like almost double the amount of cost per teraflop you're getting yeah, there. for sure. That doesn't really work out. How do you feel about that? I definitely agree. I think if this isn't just a rumor and it does come out, I think their target market is mums who are buying little Jimmy a console and they don't know what they're getting. Yeah. You know? Um, but even then, do you think at $400, they can... Uh, 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 cheap. Exactly. They, they, I don't think, I think they will see they'll, cheap. I think because they'll walk in. On one side will be the PS5 for, let's say, 550 And on mm. the other side, they can get an Xbox as far as they're concerned. It's an Xbox uh, for 300 or whatever it is, 400 And like that's $200 cheaper. And he doesn't need the best version. They don't know, right? Um, yeah, shit. That's a very, very good point. I agree, yeah. The, the, the big... Di- like, I just wonder if... Like, is it going to be different? Like, is it going to be a smaller version? You know, is it going to be like the GameCube compared to the... Do you know what I mean? Is it going to be gonna say, a smaller unit there, or what? There is a mock-up going around of the Xbox Series S and it looks okay. genuinely like a like a GameCube. However, yeah. the, the, to me, obviously, to the people who understand all about technology and people who understand about like consoles and stuff like that, we don't care about the form factor. We really care yeah. about how it's going to handle, right? Now, sure. with this uh, report on Windows Central, I'll link it in the description as well for people, they have gone into some information. Obviously, none of this is confirmed, so take it with a pinch of salt and whatnot, but it's supposed to have most of the architecture that the Xbox Series X will have in terms of limited ray tracing abilities. It's supposed to have uh, NVMe system storage, the the SSD and whatnot. It's still supposed to have stuff like that. So it should still be fast in terms of having those little uh, less of those bottlenecks that we have in today's consoles. So it should be quite cool. But... Very expensive still, regardless. I mean, we were hoping that these consoles would get in the range of at least below 500, like in between the 450 yeah. area. And this for is sure. talking about being $400, something like that? Yeah, it's just, I, for, it's not a product I would get. I can see that there might be a market for it, but I just, I don't think it's me. I don't think it's us. It's not like serious gamers. I think the market, like we said, is, is mums that just walk in and see a $200 off version and little timmy asked for an xbox and here's an xbox you know <laughs> so many disappointed kids when it comes to christmas yeah especially for like like say value wise it it's a very bad move from a future proofing aspect mm-hmm. you know like we know that by the end of like the last quarter of a console's life cycle it's without questions the console's holding back gaming and games development and stuff yeah. and these two look to be fairly well future proofed for the next for their life cycle six to eight years yeah if you're going to immediately come out the gate with four teraflops so it's a third of the power yeah. roughly of the your the flagship series at X, half yeah. the cost it just doesn't make sense to me 
Yeah, it's really, really bad. I, I mean, uh, don't get me wrong. I'm sure this console, if it was to come out by itself and it was a standalone thing and there was no one else on the market, I'm sure For everyone sure. would love it and whatnot. I Agreed. think it's going to have great graphics and whatnot. Apparently, it's supposed to be more aimed towards the 1080p crowd as in, like, it's mm -hmm. not going to be capable of 4K and stuff like that, which is fine because yeah. there's a lot of people out there that don't have 4K TVs. Uh, I don't. Exactly. Most people won't anyway, so yeah, I'm with you. Exactly. But... As you said, for future proofing, this console is supposed to be your console for the next like five years at least. Easy, yeah. I tell and you, that's not going to fly. I mean, we're the already one in thing the... that would make me buy it yeah. is if, as we suspect that this next gen, we're going to stick with with the PlayStation, and there's mm. going to be no real draw to the Xbox Series X. Mm. But I am a Halo fanboy, and let's talk about those games, Halo and Fable. Yep. Those are the two the two big draws. I'm not a huge Gears fan. So if I there's would really a, love to be a, a Halo fan. The way you talk about it as well, I'm like, clearly there's a great story here. I want to experience it. And you've it. got an Xbox. Yep. I mean, dude, how about this? Like, once the the run is over, like, we'll do you and me can we'll go through the campaign. We'll we'll co-op it as, yeah, on stream boy. or something. Like, I'd be down to do something like that. I like but, that. So idea. this is the thing. I don't want to buy a flagship console just to play two games. Yeah, that's but the other thing. Three or four years in, if there's a budget version and that it's could now be an two hundred. If it's not 200, maybe I get that to jam Halo and, and Fable. That's a know? very good idea. I mean, in two years' time, this could be down to like the 250 mark and whatnot. Exactly. And it might be something you're still getting a lot of the next gen sort of features and whatnot. You're getting mm -hmm. a lot of like, you're getting like limited ray tracing, as we said, and stuff like that. Who knows? Who knows? You might be able to play uh, Halo Infinite in lots of amazing textures yeah. with amazing graphics and whatnot. Maybe not the best, but still great. Yeah, yeah, that could be yeah. good. Um, I do, I, I do genuinely though. I'm, I'm gonna lay it out on the table. My honest opinion. I think this console is for those people, like you mentioned, the mothers who are buying their sons, uh, an Xbox in the store. Yeah. It. I feel like they're going for the if we can at least trick x amount of people then their customers right there they're locked in then we give them the the amazing game pass deal we give them this we that's give them true. that i we think that's say, literally what this is for we did say like if i said if i was sony the way i could and i was determined to kill xbox mm -hmm. the way you do it you get the point is not the money you make on the console it's getting people onto your ecosystem yeah. because then that's where you get the money from the microtransactions and stuff and this is a very good way to get people back onto your ecosystem mm-hmm and look, look, in fairness to this model, if little Timmy's mum goes out and she she sees that it's $200 cheaper and the game that he plays is free anyway, he's playing Fortnite or COD Battle, wherever the, <laughs> yeah. the war zone, yeah. right? Even though he's somehow managing to spend $100 a month on it for skins. Yeah. But the game itself is free, you know, and, and you look at it and it's yeah. like cartoony. Well, why does he need the huge thing that runs on 4K? Our TV only does 1080. Is that... Is that more it's or less true. than 4K? I, I'm not even sure. And then you go, she goes and asks someone, is 1080 more than 4K? Like, you know, she doesn't know this stuff. Or he, the dad, who knows, right? The person doesn't know this stuff. The grandmother, they don't yeah. know. While, uh, while I do think that this is like, while I'm, I think what I'm speaking from is like a person who wants to make the best possible thing, like the best possible content like yeah. we make here on here and whatnot. Um, this is specifically going to make something that isn't your best. But it's a very, very smart business move. I mean, I'm sure if we had the numbers for specific types of SKUs of console and whatnot, we'd find mm. all of those 108 million PS4s and whatnot. I bet a good chunk of them are not the PlayStation 4 Pro. And I'm... I, I would say PlayStation 100%. 4, right? Because that's the thing. Like People just want to get into the PlayStation ecosystem because they're like, oh, PS4 is amazing. I'll buy a PS4. That's yeah. literally what they want to buy. So if they some next gen we come out and they go, oh, Xbox is amazing, or at least Xbox is the cheaper one, or you're getting the eh, same enough experience, then there's this amazing cheap yeah. option right here. It's going to bring agree. in people. I think that's a, this is definitely the business move they're going for, and it's yeah. a very good business tactic, yeah. I have to say. At a company level, it doesn't matter which console they get, especially yeah. if it's going to little Timmy who's on Fortnite. It doesn't matter. <laughs> That what matters is the microtransactions. I have to say, we keep bringing up little Timmy as the, as the thing. Timmy. In all of our videos, we're like, fuck Timmy, fucking stand up to your grandma, stand right. up to your Karen mum, and get yeah. yourself a decent console. Exactly. <laughs> the only uh, person not making good decisions here is Timmy. Exactly, Timmy. Get the get your head together. Get your head in the game, right. mate. Get in there. The only other thing that's really interesting is that apparently um, we're supposed to be getting a PlayStation 5 reveal sometime yep. before june which yes. leaves may <laughs> 
All of May. Yeah, All yeah, of yeah. May. This is going to be very, very interesting. Very it interesting. It will be interesting, but the way this year's going, there'll be dinosaurs that live under the ground that come out to take over, <laughs> or an asteroid's going to hit, or both. We have to play the next round invade. of Jumanji, right? <laughs> right? Like, seriously, this year needs to leave something up for the rest of the century because it's burning <laughs> through everything it's got. <laughs> Awful. You know how like when there's like an extinction level event, it's like okay, you, ex- you everything's destroyed, but there's enough for life to regrow again. At this rate, we're not going to even have that at the end. <laughs> yeah. They're like, hmm, one. Ah, that seems boring. These guys always seem to survive it in the movies. Let's do th- carry the one, seven, <laughs> seven. There we yeah. go. <laughs> not back to back. At the same time. <laughs> oh boy, that's really a... Anyway, this is all the information that we have on the um, the Xbox yep. Series S, Lockhart X, whatever your hell is going to be called. Yeah. Um, let us know in the comment section, guys, and also let us know in that Discord server, which is a great yes, place indeed. to be. Yes, indeed. The best place to be on the internet. I'm going to come exactly. out and say, I actually think it's a really good move. Yeah? I wouldn't buy, I wouldn't buy one. You couldn't... Yeah. Well, you could pay me to buy one, but <laughs> I absolutely am not the, the target audience here, but I think it's a really good move. I'm actually 100% in your camp as well. While I don't agree, that, I, like from a gamer level, from a guy who wants to produce the best thing, and if I was there, I wouldn't be like, are we going to make something that's subpar? Oh, We're no. really going to make subpar, but it's a business move. That's what this is. Go on, what, the, what did you just think of? The original Xbox One is the reason we didn't get Cyberpunk. We're starting this generation with that. Yep. Prepare for that, boys. Prepare for that. Years down the line. Oh, we need to get this game to run on the PS5, the Xbox Series X, and the Xbox Series S with a third of the power. At that point, honestly, if it's like a Cyberpunk level game, sorry. But if, and look, I would feel the same way. If if Cyberpunk was delayed because of the original PS4, Mm -hmm. I'd got, that would be the thing to make me get a pro. Yeah. I'd, yeah. I'd get rid of it and I'd get the pro because it's like a, it's it's that big a game. If it's gonna be held back by what almost a year because of just don't bring it out for that console, just don't. You know. See, that's the thing. The only thing that we can hope for, and this is a, a really shitty thing to hope for because it's it's like a it's 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 proper like console wars thing. But if this was to sell terribly, then maybe yeah. possibly it's not enough for the developers to go because right now you can't say no to say the PS4 or the Xbox One and whatnot because yeah. the user base is so vast and whatnot yeah. that's why our next gen games are going to be a gimp a little bit because they'll run on ps4s and xbox yeah. ones and whatnot but if they if they were small enough if this was to flop hard enough that people were to go do you know what it's not worth gimping our game to run on this thing when there's like ten thousand yeah. units out there I mean, i'm sorry but we are not going to be make that's what i would do as a developer right it is the user base like you said because if people if cd project red had come out and said oh yeah cyberpunk's getting delayed by seven months because it just won't run so well on like the nintendo wii or the ouya oh the ouya oh, oh don't you know. say anything bad about the ouya that thing's a powerhouse you know, the Game Boy but, Color yeah. just cannot run our game. <laughs> but know? yeah, exactly. If they were to come out and say that, God. Anyway, that's all the information, as I said, guys. Let us know in the description what you guys think about this and where you think... Where, what would you guys feel if this yeah. console was to come out? Do you think that this is something that could sway you? That's what I want to That's a really good one. As Go you've on. made it this far, over Ooh. there, over there, there. Uh, will be <laughs> one of the our videos that we did a couple of days ago. Jason Schreier, who uh, was like one of the best games journalists out there previously of Kotaku, who accidentally let it slip that Rockstar's working on the next instalment. Quote, the next instalment of the GTA, the Grand Theft Auto series, oh, yeah. and we did a video on it. And in that video, we also did some investigative stuff on what's going to be in GTA 6. Those are really good videos. And since you've made yeah, it this boy. far and you're into rumors, that's a video for you to check out. Check it out. Yeah, for yeah. sure. All right, bro. I'll catch you in the next one. I'll catch you in the next one. We'll do an awkward I'm doing handshake. It. There we I'm go. There it. we go. I'm doing it too. There we go. <laughs> see you later, guys. I'll see you later.